Ray Hildebrand, where are you? I hate to say this, but everybody knows who Ray Hildebrand is, except for Paula. No, I'm just kidding. Ray Hildebrand is a great friend, a great, great FCA veteran. Ray, you've done a tremendous job. We love you. We thank you for your years of service, your powerful influence, and uh, we thank you because you always honor Christ. All right, we love you, Ray Hildebrand. We're going to do 16 songs today. One of the summer conference themes we had one year was called uh, Special Kind of Man. He's a special kind of man with a special kind of love to give away. You can help me if you know it. He's a special kind of friend to any man who's willing to admit today that he cannot stand alone. He cannot be an island made of sand. And if he will, there's the door held open by a special kind of man. How many of you know what harmony is? How many of you think harmony is boiled corn? No. <laughs> we had it for breakfast. <laughs> but that's grits, no. Come on, we need to hear some harmony and some bass. You know these boys that you'd try to teach them to sing and everything, and you'd take these old beer commercials, and this was one of those old beer commercials that really caught on. It was as good as say I do. When you say Christ, you've said a lot of things nobody else can say. When you say Christ, you say you care enough to only want the King of Kings. There is no other one. There's only something less because the King of Kings, He's leading all the rest. When you say Jesus, you've said it all. Yeah. I'm going to say, here's Wayne, and y'all go, so what? Ready? Here's Wayne. So what? In July of uh, 1967, Ray and I went to Kansas City to join the FCA staff together. I was 25 and he was 26. He was on the Dick Clark Caravan of Stars. The Beatles even asked Ray for his autograph. <laughs> Roy Orbison, all those kind of guys, Bobby Benton, Ray was active right there with him. His record had sold three million copies. But one night in Cincinnati, he did something with Dick Clark. He wrote a note and put it under Dick Clark's door. Ray, tell us what was on the note. Yeah. We went from fan to famous in Brownwood, Texas. I was on a basketball scholarship, but I love to sing. Long story short, I wrote this song. Hey, hey, Paula. We called it Paul and Paula by Ray and Jill. Hey, hey, Paula. No one else could ever do. We got a phone call after we recorded Hey, Paula on a little local label. And the guy said, Mercury Records just bought your song. You are no longer Ray and Jill, you are Paul and Paula. And we changed the name of the song to Hey Paula to fit, to fit the words to the song. Hey, Paula. And he said, and you are sweethearts, you get it? I want to marry you too. That's just marketing, right? So I wrote this song, all of a sudden whoosh, we're out in Philadelphia and Boston, LA and all of this, and, and our, our song, whoosh, 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 and I went, gosh, why us? I mean, we're just average kids singing this little song. But after a while it got old. I'm 22 years old, I don't want to do this anymore. And there was a girl that I had left behind. Her daddy was a Baptist preacher down in Texas, and I may never get back to Judy and get married to her and la la la. I felt like I was going into darkness. Not in control of my life. 
So there I was, and we were going all the time. And uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio, I'd come to the end of it. And I told her, you know, I said, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore. And she said, I understand. So at 5 o'clock in the morning in Cincinnati, Ohio, I wrote Dick Clark a note, and I slipped it under his door, and I said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he has a book out, and it has a chapter in the back. There was a guy that sang with a group called Paul and Paula. His name was Ray Hildebrand, and he just up <laughs> and left. Anyway, I went back home. And I went back, and I got married, and I started me alive. But I felt compelled because of my music. I was writing a lot of Christian songs, and I became one of the first contemporary Christian singers in America. <laughs> one of the things that happened to me, I, I started trying to write songs again, and it was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. And then I turn it over to Jesus. Yes, I turn it over to Jesus. Jesus. I mean, and it was not church melodies. It was pop melodies like I wrote for Paul and Paula and everything else. And all of a sudden, it just, it just kept coming. If I live well, praise the Lord. If I die well, praise the Lord. Anybody here want to live forever? Say, I do. Anybody here want to walk on golden streets? Say, I do. Anybody here sick and tired of living like you do? Anybody here want a home with love forever? Say, I do. And so I did one album and two albums and three albums and suddenly, you know, I, it was just amazing. I just wanted to say, don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't be afraid to do, do what the Lord is telling you to do because he's going to take care of the backside. Now he walks beside me day by day, ever watching o'er me lest I stray, helping me to find the narrow way. He's ever 